All right, here we go. Warming up our bodies today, a little tabata. Shadow would be past this direction, right? Specials teachers are, they truly are sort of the glue that holds the entire school body together. The way that we've adopted to the way that uh, teaching has changed in this COVID environment is just trying to give the kids as authentic of an experience as possible in these different times. It's really all about making sure that they are having fun, they feel engaged, but they're also safe. It's so cool that we can make all kinds of instruments at home, isn't it? Ready, here we go. This is a new game <laughs> where we're flexing, teaching in person in our room and then in the hallway outside of classrooms and then we're online. Everything has been reinvented. You know, these classes are very hands-on and active usually. We have students running around, playing, making things, singing. And some of that is a little bit harder in this era of COVID teaching. But it's also been amazing to see the creativity and how sometimes we're able to focus on the standards that don't always get quite as much attention. Let's worry about the floatiness at the end. Really just try to capture our outline shapes to start. I think specials, whether we're in person or online, has always been really important for kids, especially kids who may struggle in other areas, academically, socially, emotionally. Art, music, PE, it's really a time for them to get to kind of express who they are a little bit more, to show their interest, to explore what they are interested in and what they like. When kids are online or remote learning, it's so important for them to participate in specials. And um, some of the times that kids, when they're at school here, some of their favorite classes are being in specials and they can show us things that they might not show in the classroom. And connecting with them online is really, really important. And so I think all of us specials here at Cole, we really try to make our remote learning engaging and fun for the kids and also hit those standards that we need to hit. In the music classroom, we've had to make a lot of adjustments. It's a class where we are constantly moving and sharing instruments. We are singing, we're playing recorders that let us, you know, or we're blowing air. Just about everything has had to be altered. We have to find a new way to make it work. You know, instead of doing activities where we're touching hands, now we're snapping. We're moving with more space between us. We're going outside as much as we can. Keep it going. Get that heart warmed up. It's been so fun to see the collaboration as teachers talk to each other about how to make it work, about how to do things with not as many materials or fewer equipment. Having an awesome specials team, it really does contribute to an overall positive school culture and climate. No matter what we do, creativity and art, they're gonna be here for us. They're gonna make the world exciting. They're gonna make the world engaging. No matter how we need to do that, whether we need to stay safe at our homes, whether we can be in a classroom together, the fact that we still have the time, the funding, and the energy to put art and music and physical education in these kids' lives, it's only gonna benefit them, and it's only gonna benefit our society in the future from the fact that we are fostering independent thought. We're fostering creative thinking and a, a critical eye and a critical mind. I'm really grateful um, because specials are, an, are important. It's a, for a lot of kids, it's a highlight of their day and they look forward to the next round of PE. They look forward to getting to have art. They look forward to music. So um, that's been a, a real positive is getting to make sure that we're all getting to see them regularly.